What's up guys, Joe at Momentum Works. Today we are gonna touch on some bikes that I have been leaving to neglect. So we've seen. All right guys, so this original build's been pretty neglected. Uh, so we're gonna clean her up. We got a fresh set of RSF wheels here. So I'm gonna show you how to get them to fit on your MX style bike. And we're just gonna clean this old 48 bolt up. This was the bike, well this is the build that we had started with originally. Um, I know I've showed you guys my 72 volt already, but originally this was my first build out. Um, and then I uh, bought another frame and transferred over my drivetrain. So let's do a quick time lapse here. Guys, I wanna take a quick second here to talk about the difference in width. Um, you can see MX on the left and the RSF on the right. These tires are much girthier, a whole lot more width here. Now, if you look at them side by side, even though the RSF wheel is not as large of a diameter, the bulkier tire makes up for that so that they're both almost roughly the same size. While the RSF wheels come complete with rotors, since I'm running the zoom brakes, I have to take this rotor off and put on the rotor that's compatible with the zoom brakes. Um, and we'll see here, I'm comparing the stock rotor to the zoom rotor. You can see that the zoom rotor is a little bit larger diameter, but the big thing here, guys, is the width. And I'll pull out a set of calipers here so you can really see the difference. The zoom rotor is actually much thinner, which in my mind is not great, but, you know, it is what it is. All right, so now I've got the correct rotor. I'm going to go ahead and bolt this on. Uh, I'm going to hand tighten these real quick and then crisscross applesauce with the Allen key to get these torqued down properly. I'm sure someone will tell me that I did not torque them correctly, and I don't care. To make your life a little easier, throw a flathead screwdriver in between the pads here and separate them so the rotor slides in nicely. So it wouldn't be a mini video if I didn't hack something up. So what you see here is one of the axle spacers. So when you're doing this wheel swap, obviously the RSF has different wheel spacing, a different axle, different forks, things like that. Um, so what I did is I took one of the RSF wheel spacers here and I shaved it down with a grinder. I'm not going to show you that because it was a hack job, but this is what I did to make it fit correctly. Now I'm going to show it to you on the bike. So on the caliper side, I just used the stock MX500 spacer, and I'm using the MX500 axle as well. And then on the other side, I have that modified spacer. I use the RSF spacer, and I cut it down quite a bit. Um, you can kind of niggle and get it to where you need to be. The thing that pissed me off here is that my wheel sits really far to the opposite of the caliper side, but I really couldn't figure out any other way to clearance it, and it still rides good. So here in my hand, I've got the MX spacer on the right, the RSF on the left. And Sorry, I'm jumping ahead here, guys. On the rear, it was much easier. I'm running the stock caliper, so I did not have to switch the rotor on this. I am using the MX spacer on the right, and I'm using the RSF spacer on the left, and I'm using the MX axle, and it actually fits really good. So guys, here's the finished product. I'm really stoked with how this came out. Um, I wanted to switch the RSF wheels because we're always killing the spoked wheels and they don't hold true. It's really nice that these come with tires. That extra width really makes the bike look nice, and I think it's going to handle great as well. Guys, if you like this, please subscribe, leave comments. Uh, we're going to be doing another build on an SX, and you know we'll keep posting these up. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a great night. Take care.